Hello everybody, welcome back to more Enter the Gungeon, Rainbow Run Day, Sunday. Back at it, but with Robot this time. Got some requests for Robo. We're doing the same thing but with the Robo Man, because it does make things a little bit interesting. You know, I feel obligated to pick up Robot's other arm, you know? I feel, I feel intensely obligated. The other options are good, but this is just like... Look at that, we got... He got both of his hands. I mean, what more do you want? It's it's not a bad item to start with either. Like it's really very good, in fact, very very good. It's very uh, you know, it lasts a long, long time. Does good damage. Good for bosses. Good for room clear. Good for the whole shebang, whole kit and caboodle. I feel like we are uh, we're in for a nice smooth first first few floors, and then whatever we get on it, future things. We're gonna determine how well it goes from there, of course, but, you know, I think this alone, first few floors, not gonna be too bad. Not gonna be too bad, not that they ever really are. But anywho, probably, uh, this probably marks the beginning of things going back to kind of normal, normal-ish for the Gungeon series for a bit. Probably going back to, uh, all right, we are gonna bust all of these for the junk, if we can. Going back to normal with the, uh, the Lich streaks, potentially. Do we not get, we do not get junk anymore? Hold on, I thought that you could get junk. So I, I was confused, I think I'm confused. I know you can get junk in if you get them out of the chest, like normal, out of just like out of a blue chest. So, whoop, that's that, but I thought you could maybe get junk. I know in, in back in the old days with the, before Rainbow, <laughs> Rainbow runs were officially implemented back when they were just my my darn rule set I made uh, We could literally could obviously pick up junk. So maybe I'm even maybe I'm just confused by that You know Always I would often uh, opt not to because it seems like you know, it seems OP Because it's like a, a, a junk every chest run especially one where you would get junkin is already like on robot, it's not like stronger than a normal run, I don't think, but it's also not that much harder at all than a normal run because you don't have to worry about ammo ever. You know, you're always gonna, you know, you know exactly what's gonna happen. You're gonna get a lot of damage ups. Just get a lot of damage ups. If you get junk and you get yourself a partner that's gonna be OP as hell as well. Yo, <laughs> yo. So we don't have to worry about keys. That means that we get to go a little extra ham on the armor there. Right. And that's just book it. <laughs> Let's book it. Let's boogie. What are we looking for today on, on robot? What's something that you know what? Something that is real like kinda realistic even? Cause I feel like I've seen it on most or like at least like half of my rainbow chest runs. There is junk. There's the junk is um riddle of lead i feel like i see it all the time you know because rainbow chests are pretty likely to or like they carry s tier items very very often that'd be amazing though riddle of lead if you're not sure you're if you don't know what i'm why i want it so bad on robot it has a 50 percent chance to reduce damage when you are hit to well i mean to nothing completely negate damage to nothing while you're half a heart away from death however okay we'll, we'll actually do this because we're not gonna go to the sewer uh Robot is technically, because of how shields work, perpetually half a heart away from death. So literally every time, single time you get hit, you have a 50% chance to not take that damage. It's a pretty big deal. It's a pretty big deal. Got enter the gungeon. Can we talk about it for a second? It's just it's such a smooth game. Like I, I don't know. I've, I haven't. Uh, I don't know. You know, you play something for such a long amount of time, you go through some phases where you maybe don't appreciate it as much as you should. The take it for granted kind of a kind of a situation. I appreciate this game a lot. It's so clean. Oh, thank God we didn't take damage from that. So clean. It just it just functions so well. It's so polished. I just oh man, it is quite the game. Quite the game. Why did I hold on? Is it gonna? Yeah, sorry. <laughs> I got tabbed out for a second. Which maybe I even should have get my questions ready there. 
All right. What are we gonna get here? It's riddle lead. We just gotta do it. We just literally just gotta do it. What a run this is gonna be. 50% of the time that we get hit, we're not even gonna take damage. <laughs> Had to test it out. It didn't work. <laughs> it didn't work. Unless it does a blank effect also. Unless it does a blank effect when we get hit too. Which I guess it could, but I just doubt it. But hey, we learned. Immediately. Doesn't always work. 50%'s not 100%. Still, if we lose today, I am... I am royally screwed up. If we if we lose today, it's uh, uh oh. I lose my dungeon license. I think is what happens. Top of the fact that we got like already a pretty smooth gun. Yeah, we might have to worry about ammo capacity and everything, but we can just make sure we pepper in some shots with our standard as well, and everything will be peachy. Okay. Got him. All right, let's answer a Discord question. Why don't we? While I do a little bit of a stretch here, oh, this is oh my gosh, this is very close to uh, <laughs> what we're doing now. Kill me eight 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 eight. Yes, four eights. Do you think the challenge only start a gun with active and passive on Rainbow Run with is painful to play? No robot. Can you do one? Uh, okay, no robot. I, I, yeah. It doesn't sound very fun. You know, is it is it hard? Maybe? Like, basically what you do is just use your standard and you just get a whole bunch of passives. I, I, it doesn't sound that fun to me because one of the major things I like about Enter the Gungeon is, uh, <clears throat> the guns in Enter the Gungeon? You know, I don't get me wrong, I the passives give it the spice of life, but it only gives it the spice of life if there's also gun variety underneath it. The starter guns, guess what? They suck. You know, they they're not they they're not good, but they're also more importantly to the equation, the starter weapons aren't fun and they're not supposed to be. The starter, starter weapons are boring and bad so that all the other guns are exciting and fun you know like they feel all the other guns feel good and fun it's just I don't know the challenges that are basically take strip strip all the variety out of the game or strip any kind of like action out of the game uh, you know like th those kind of challenges don't excite me very much like the ones the, the one I always often say that I find to be like I, I'll, maybe I'll try it again someday, or maybe I'll do it on stream when I'm like feeling like not playing a video game, where it's like, okay, do this run, but every time, you know, like, but you have to only use familiars or something like, play the game, but you can only give yourself uh, you, junk and you and you can't attack. It's like I, I get the idea, like it's it's fun to think about, but in practice, it just means like sit there for an hour and a half because like it's gonna take a long time sit there for an hour and a half well uh well junkin does your run for you and you don't get to play the video game it doesn't sound that fun to me I, but you know maybe someday i'll try it again I, I have done something like it before but as far as the challenges go it doesn't it doesn't in inherently excite me not saying it'll never happen and uh you know like the variation of it that's still kind of you know exciting would maybe be like uh every time you get an you know and this has been done before and this variation is more interesting to me every time you get an item you have to replace it with uh with something else and if it was familiars there at least you know like you can still shoot but when people are like make it so you you have all the familiars but you don't get to shoot it's like uh, I don't know. I kind of like to play the video game. Personally. Personally. No rat, I guess. No rat, I suppose. I've been doing the rat quite a bit, though. Faddish Cat asks, Is 70 hours and not having beat the dragon bad? It's incredibly subjective. I think that it... it 
Ah, uh, this real quick. Okay, I think I'm gonna go with that. Uh, it, it's subjective. You know, like, you, you see that... Here's one thing. It's like, you, you look at everybody playing the game, and you're like, you think that you can apply it directly, like, okay, if I have 50 hours in this, and they have 50 hours in this, we should both be just as far as each other. But you never are like, in your head, okay, what if they had 100 hours in Nuclear Throne? And I've never touched Nuclear Throne. And we both started at the same time. And then, he's better than me. Or they're better than me, and she's better than me. You know, like... That... You, you're not you're not factoring in all the info. And maybe it's like, also just, you know, some people have better reflexes. Who cares what's bad, what's good, what's bad? It's It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. And that's like, oh my god, I hate gatekeeping so bad. Who cares? It, like, but what's a fact is like, you know, you'll beat the dragon if you keep at it. You just, you will at some point. It might take you more or less time because maybe you have more or less practice in games similar to it. Or maybe you don't, you know, or maybe it's a taller order for your reflexes. And none of that matters. Like, it's still just, whether or not it's good or bad, it's entirely subjective. I, I don't think it's bad. I think it's, you know, like, I can't immediately say it's bad. Don't have the full story, you know? You never have the full story, and it's just, it's just... It's way more impressive. It's like, which story is more interesting? Like, I I beat the dragon after 15 hours. It was kind of hard. Or I've been working at playing this game, and I've had the perseverance to keep playing it, even though I've been defeated. And I persevered for 75 hours, and then I beat the boss. That's such a, that's a way more interesting, way better story. And it's like, it's, it's more impressive to me that someone would have the perseverance and drive to do that than it would be that someone just has the raw, natural, uh, that's sad. Metaphor for my life. Uh, it's, it's just, it's, it's more impressive than if someone had the raw, natural ability or like, they played a lot of Nuclear Throne before they played this, or they played a lot of some other, you know, game with comparable, you know, abilities and everything like that before they played this, and then they were able to beat it yeah, pretty, pretty quick. <laughs> like an hour or two quicker than the how long to beat average or whatever the hell. It does, it's just like, I don't know. I don't, I'm not like, wow, you know? I, I'm like, I've been cracking at this for, for a month. And eventually, I finally did it. That's that's exciting. That's impressive. You know, because you you decided to stick around through the uncertainty of being able to beat it, and you overcame a personal challenge. I know that that challenge is impressive because it took you that long. You know, so obviously it was something you had to work on. You know, and you improved. You must have improved. Which is way more impressive. I don't know. So, is 70 hours not being the dragon bad? Uh, I don't. It's subjective. It's subjective. When you, you know, just. I tell you, beating the dragon is good and you'll get to it at some point. Whoop. All right, good deal. No item. No item, wasn't even worth the ammo to be honest. Speaking of ammo, I hope we get Ancient Heroes Mandan or something. That would be a very nice big get, a baguette indeed. Probably using our standard for a little bit here. Also, should we? <laughs> this, is seem this seems so stupid. I'm gonna buy that to junk it. Junkin? If it was junkin, it would have been such a big deal. So it's super worth it. Anywho, don't matter. Uh oh, I slowed him down. I slowed him down. I made things a little bit harder for myself. Keep on electrocuting this. He's taking damage. Done taking damage. 
No, it was because he was on fire, wasn't it? He was poisoned or on fire or something. Now, this is why I love Chaos Bullets, though. Just a small chance that it gets him electrocuted or set on fire. It's great. Sometimes you only need, like, if you're firing at a big enemy like that for a long time, they're gonna get electrocuted, they're gonna get poisoned. You're gonna beat the dragon. It all ties together. Bada bing, bada boom. Alright. Well. I knew it. Unnecessary use of time. In fact, technically a downgrade because we don't need this key. And we could have had three blanks when we went to this floor. All right. Uh, I mean, obviously, I'm thinking this right here. So I'm going to do it. Robot got his arms back. Robot got his arms back. Oh. So now we can actually fill it up. Don't have to worry as much about ammo. You gotta be careful though. Oh, contact damage is still a thing. Has a uh, really lead helped us yet? Have we actually blocked a hit from really lead yet? I don't think so. That or it does a blank effect. Statistically, it's getting to a little bit of a, a stinky area, a little bit of a weird, statistically strange area that we have not done it yet. Bonk. All right. I don't want to just run into an enemy just to test it. I truly do. Truly do. Our standard is really not too shabby right now, but and if we could <laughs> say if we get ammo, I'm probably never gonna use it again. Cause we'll be able to charge it up on major situations like bosses, everything like that. So darn easy to. Alright. I think this is a I mean, I've been hit three times now, kind of roughly in a row-ish. Or two was it just two times in a row? I think it was just two times. We're not getting all kinds of no, well, we're getting all the health upgrades from the bosses. I don't know, man. I feel like our health should be higher. I think it's just because Real Aled disappointed me and hasn't given me what I've so desired. Seems good enough. Oh, we're at full. We're at full. Just kidding. thing we could I kind of want like nano machines you know that could be fun to play around with uh I don't know does broccoli hold on hold on does broccoli and riddle of lead stack to give us like extreme invincibility I mean not like literally invincible but like pretty darn invincible pretty crazy pretty crazy there should be some kind of enter the gungeon myth busters you know is there, is there not? I feel like there should be. Maybe I'll do it someday. Like, putting all the weird little quirks and mysteries to the test. My question my question for you today is, uh, what Enter the Gudgeon urban legend have you heard that you're not sure if it's true or not? Like, the, like a couple weapon, weapons or items interacting together. Like, urban legends such as, like, does R someone said that Riddle of Lead makes it so 50% of your attacks that you take on robot are actually blocked. Like, like that. Like, if I didn't tell you in the beginning and you just heard it, you didn't know if it was true. Like, what are a bunch of things like that you wish you wish were tested? Tested on camera to be confirmed or denied. May, maybe I'll do that someday. Who knows? Huh. Could be fun. Could be fun. Let me know in the comments below. And maybe I'll, I don't know, maybe, yeah, maybe I'll do it. Maybe I'll do it, maybe I'll use your suggestion or something if we, I, no, no confirmation. No confirmation. Don't know. Got a lot on my plate. But it sounds like fun. It's something that I always wish was there, because I just, and I, I don't know. I, but I never set aside time to actually just be like, you know what? Does this and this work together? Like, what does happen with, with broccoli and riddle of lead? 
on robot at half a heart. You know? Because that's something you could probably test over and over. With modded Gungeon. Wouldn't be that hard to set up that scenario over and over. Huh. Really? We did not get that much back. I think it's just because this uses ammo so quickly. Bonk. Give me ammo, please. Ammo, please. Amanda, please. We've been getting pretty lucky with getting ammo in the shop, though. Every single one has had ammo in it, hasn't it? That's crazy. Alright, what do we want now? Let's make a bold prediction. I want... I want shock rounds. It feels like it's on theme. Duct tape. I mean, nothing else is speaking to me, so I'll... That's right. You know what? It's, it's who cares. Like, it's, it's Rainbow Run Day Sunday. We're having a good time. We're having a good time. I want another robot's right arm. I know that it doesn't work. You can't duct tape two of the same gun together because you can't get two of the same gun. If you pick up, the, if you pick up a gun, you already have it. Literally literally just takes its place you know it just acts like you didn't pick anything up why did I totally forget we would need to carry duct tape with me rookie mistake it's okay we cheated the system we, we, we got duct tape and a backpack two for the price of one baby let's just fight the dragon we're not gonna leave the floor for honor's sake but we will just fight the dragon just straight up this does rip through the ammo quite quickly. I think I was a little, uh... A little overzealous when I was saying that we would never need to... To, to get an ammo drop again. Maybe extremely, completely, 100% overzealous. Ah, uh, this isn't worth it. I feel like the... We can maybe just even wait for the, uh... The wall wave. I think it's gonna be a smarter idea. So it's not not a stupid time to do it, but we just got the uh, phase two coming up, and this is just we should get the full 400 back just like that. Or not? Maybe you know what? Like I'm I'm realizing that I feel like I yeah just I'm I'm completely overvaluing how. Reload stone works with guns that have extremely high capacities. Let's see. Nukrad asks, "Why do you hate eggs so much?" It is. I mean, like, why does anyone hate any food? It's. I don't hate eggs as a concept. I don't hate. I don't have a personal vendetta against them. I just don't like the way they taste. I. I think they don't tastes very good because that's what my my palate uh, does my taste buds don't think it's good like other people do i i don't but i'm like i don't even have an extreme vendetta like i oh ho, ho, ho. i don't have an extreme vendetta because like i <laughs> i eat them in other things if they're an ingredient, I'll eat eggs. I just don't like it. I don't like eggs as uh, on their own. Like if if I can help it, if I can if I can taste eggs in the food, I probably don't think it tastes good. <laughs> that's just that's all it is to it. It's you know. Why do you hate asparagus? I love asparagus. You know. It's because you just think it tastes bad. Eh. Why did we get pushed back there? What was with that wind box? What the wind box? Oh, it. Oh, it. We're about to run out just like that. Gonna have to go back to using our other arm. Not my non dominant arm. At least we're gonna get 5% damage up. Thought that was gonna be junky for some reason. Oh, 
I just I've not gotten I don't know maybe it is a myth I could have sworn I've had a run where riddle of lead did indeed work like that boy oh boy did they change that did they change it because four times four times I've been hit now and I know it doesn't mean like it's not a guarantee I know it's not a guarantee that we would have gotten it by now statistically, but it is kind of weird if it's 50% and we got four and we have not gotten it yet. It's a little weird. But maybe it does a blank effect when we get hit. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Whoop. Kind of handy we froze one. Normally I don't like to freeze these guys, but... Made it a little bit easier to handle. Oh, you son of a gun. Slip and slide. Oi. Oi. Was really hoping for some ammo there. I mean, doing the next floor just with our standard. Not that bad. I mean, we're going to get um, the ability to duct tape the right arm or the left arm left arm left hand, sorry, left hand we'll be able to duct tape that to something and effectively generate ammo for it that way if we pick something good we pick like a beam weapon or something we could end up I don't know beam weapon maybe something with even more ammo more ammo, but a slower fire rate, I guess. Again. Thank you. It's only 39 shots, though. Okay, 39 goes a long way. Goes a long way. we're still going here i feel like i've it's you know what it is it's just because i, I just because i did the dragon early it worked it worked it's just because we did the dragon early that's why it feels weird oh. we got confirmation myth confirmed i guess not busted Plus, it would be if it uh, was not a thing. Wait. These buzzers is done, aren't they? Like, they've been done for a while. I feel like they've been done done for a while. Question mark? I don't know. I had no idea. Anyway, on to the next floor. We... I would like... Something we could duct tape to our arm to keep our... Robo double armed... Themed run kind of going. I'd be into that. Maybe like, I don't, honestly, no, Commando wouldn't make sense. It would if we could get ammo, though. If we could get ammo, it would make a lot of sense. Hmm. 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 Which way do I do it? It makes more sense. We're gonna need to. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna use the railgun for a bit, and then when we get ammo, if we ever get ammo, rather, I suppose I should say, I uh, then I'll duct tape them together. We'll just min max it a little, a little bit, just so that I don't, you know, because. If I put it over there, the, that 40 ammo is going to be gone in like two seconds. Okay, that's like one shot that I'll be able to get off. This way I'll be able to get the... I'll be able to get the full 40. And I'm banking heavily on the game. 
throwing me a bone and giving me one ammo drop. Because I, I want I want to meme it up. Like this is obviously great and I should really just be using this plus uh, the reload stone. Like that's the logically like way smarter thing to do. However, I want my arm to shoot a railgun. I want my arm to shoot a railgun. Is that so much to ask? I don't think it's too much to ask. Pop! Ammo? No ammo. Oh, ammo! Alright. Do we just straight up do it right now? Alright, I want to see my arm shoot a railgun. Oh my god, that is so cool looking. That is really freaking cool looking. We'll try to only use it like once a room for a bit, or like twice a room if it's a huge chunker. But oh my god, that was amazing. That was amazing. More ammo though. More ammo though. I need it forever. I need it to go forever. Just seeing the laser come out of the arm like this, it's so cool! Oh. Robot just got an upgrade. Beep boop. I'm upgraded. Boop. Oh my god, I love it. It's, ex it's exactly what I was picturing. Exactly what I was picturing. Thank you, game. Thank you. All right, we need a, a pretty good place to get it. Not bad. Not gonna waste it on one enemy. Ammo back, ammo back, ammo back. Whoo! Nelly! bad is it like does it make the most sense from a i mean not so much i should probably just be using it oh, oh, oh why, wait aha aha tactical i'm a genius riddle of lead myth confirmed all right don't like what I see here. Or maybe it's just like guaranteed that we can jump into pits. All right. Maybe it's just guaranteed we can jump into pits because it's never worked against an enemy hit so far. It's only worked, it's worked twice now with falling into pits. So... Myth questioned. Myth held to scrutiny. Give me somebody with a lot of bullets on screen. Well, this is a big room. It's really not a lot of bullets that are going to be fine. Blow up these guys both right by each other at the same time. That might be an actually good amount of bullets to get. Wait until they're gone. Ah, uh, that actually wouldn't be bad. All right. I'm just on a bullet hunt. Don't hit that guy. Don't hit that guy. Okay. Uh, didn't do that nearly as well as I could have. Not nearly as well as I could have. Robot. Locking on. Beep boop, you're screwed. Beep boop, you're screwed. Maybe the boss. You know, he's got a lot of bullets out there. I'd like an ammo drop before the boss, though. That would be... Oh, the game would be... Oh, so nice. If it did that. Hear that video game? Hear that video game? I'll take you out to a nice Italian dinner. Boop. All you gotta do is give me exactly what I want. This is a, not a healthy relationship. Alright. Uh, hold on. 
that's a much better way to have done that. Much better way to have done it. All right. Oh well. Like, I think we need to do it one by one by one. Well, I feel like I feel like Samus. You know, like I know that we we got the one that her actual gun in the game too, but still. Why does this make me feel like a true robo bounty hunter? Like the multi. Thank you. Probably like uh, like three rooms before the boss too. That's pretty exciting. I don't think I need it in this room. I think there's too many weird nooks and crannies. Okay, easy enough. Okay, I thought we were gonna maybe get oh, the gun nut boy. Would have been able to farm a bit off of him, and there is our boss. All right. Okay. Oh man, I think that's just why I fill up. I think I fill up really fast on all the bosses. It's because the lich truly does shoot out that many bullets, you know. The lich really lets it fly. He lets it all hang out. Robo arm, beep boop. Upgraded. Bring it on. Give me ammo. Thank you, chump. Thank you, chump. Love it. It just feels so right. Fine, I wanted to be hit. For science. Still have no idea about the riddle of the lip. Save me from two falls into the pit, though. I think it saved me there. I'm pretty sure it just saved me from a hit. Pretty sure that was myth busted right there. Myth confirmed. <laughs> Can't get it right. All right. Well, that is that. Boy, oh boy. Another smooth run. Another themed run, another fun themed run. But that is going to do it for today. Thank you for watching. Extra special thank you to Outsu for supporting on Patreon at the Go Team Gungeon tier. If you're feeling up to it, you can help support my dreams over at patreon.com slash regimation if you want to see me go full time doing this. That's the best way to make it happen. But no pressure. No, no need. Thank you so much. And, uh... Hey, uh, if you have not yet subscribed to my second channel, Rito Does Games, go give that a peek. If you can check over on my channel, the recommended on the side, Rito Does Games. It is a collection of all of my Twitch VODs. If you do not make it to my streams on Mondays and Wednesdays at 4 p.m. Central, you can go check out all the VODs there with full face cam and everything. Thank you, everybody watching. Thank you, thank you. See you next time.